Now we add an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And then we're slowly going to blend in two cups of flour. And lastly, we're going to add the almonds. to go. That gives us a nice soft creamy dough and you can't not see the nut particles in there and that's what you want. That means it's going to flow out of the tip on the pastry bag just right. This is an 8B large decorating tip. It has 17 prongs on it we're going to insert it into the bag, load the bag with dough, and make some cookies. We start by inserting the tip down into the bag and we squeeze it through so that all the prongs are clear. Next, we take about a third of our dough, push it down as far as we can, and then squeeze it down the rest of the way. Give the bag a little twist and we're ready to squeeze out cookies. Now, the temptation will be to put all the dough in the bag. The problem with doing that is if you've filled up the bag with this much dough you will have to apply enough force with each squeeze to move that much dough just to get one out of the end. So by only using about a third of the dough it makes it easier to squeeze the cookies out onto the sheet and it's just an easier process. You do have to stop and refill the bag but that's much easier and less time consuming than struggling with a full bag. So we're going to squeeze the air out and now we're ready to make some cookies. This is a room temperature ungreased baking sheet. and This dough is very soft and they just squeeze out of that pastry bag so easy you won't believe it. These rosettes are about an inch or an inch and a quarter and these cookies do grow when you bake them. So you got to leave an inch or more between them. And the other thing you'll notice is that I'm getting all 17 serrations nice and clean on every squeeze which means that those nuts were ground up fine enough that they're not clogging the prongs in the tips. And that's all there is to these. Then we garnish them with our little cherry wedge that we cut at the beginning and then they'll be ready to bake. So I'm going to finish filling this sheet and then we'll pop them in the oven.
We've filled our cookie sheet and these are ready to go into the oven. These bake in a 375 degree preheated oven for 9 to 12 minutes. What you're looking for on this cookie is a cookie that is just beginning to turn brown around the outside edges and on the bottom it's just turned a light brown around the outside edges. You can see the inner part of the cookie is still very light. It's just begun to turn. That cookie is done perfectly. When you take them off the cookie sheet with your spatula and put them on the wire rack to cool, they're going to feel a little bit soft, almost like they're not quite done. And that's perfect because as they cool that last minute or two, they'll continue to bake and you'll get a delicious cookie. And these have just come out of the oven. As you can see, they're a little soft yet. But as we put those on the wire rack to cool, they'll finish baking right on the wire rack and they'll be perfect when they're cool. And there we've got a full batch of almond spritz cookies ready to eat.